What's up everyone, Bradley Jack Design here. I wanted to test out the new Harmonize feature that they just released in Photoshop Beta. And I wanted to try it with sports specific stuff in mind. So I actually pulled up some graphics I have made for sports teams that have sort of some serious lighting in them. So I've got four projects here that I'm going to test out the Harmonize filter or the Harmonize button which is right here, which should pop up on your contextual bar in Photoshop. Now, <clears throat> I wanna try it first with this photo of Kobe. So I have three different backgrounds here. So I've got space, I've got this sort of light, and then this blue light here. So I wanna just try this out with each of these backgrounds. So I already have this photo cut out of Kobe. So all I should have to do is hit harmonize. And what this is doing is it's using the generative AI feature to figure out how it should look. And I did some testing on this ones before, and it's not perfect, but I think it's a decent start for what some sports designers would want to do. So it'll generate a feature and it sees it's all super dark, so it's making it dark. And we can click on a couple of these and this isn't great. This isn't a great example. So maybe you take this and you set it to like 30% opacity and use that as sort of a starting base. So this one, not so good. Let's use it with this one. So I'm just gonna have the background show up in the background so it'll see that background to harmonize with and we'll see how this looks. So it's gonna generate and we'll see what pops up once it's done doing the filters. This one I know looks a little bit better than the other one and then the other background I think is gonna look even better. So we're going from light to dark and there's three different options we can choose from. I think this one's the best just because it's lighter down here but Kobe's still super dark. So maybe again, we change the opacity of this to be 50. And this is a pretty good starting spot. And then you can do your own manual adjustments from there. Let me do it on this one as well. So this last one with just this image. <clears throat> and this is just a random image of Kobe. I wanted to see if someone wanted to make it look like Kobe's in space or something like that. I know a lot of compositing is light to dark. So I wanted to see how it does with that and some of the other ones are going to do the same thing as well so this it looks like the lighting is better in certain spots depending on which one we do but it is still a little bit dark i don't think the shadow makes sense so we'll clip it to kobe and then maybe set it to 50 percent or 75 percent and that actually looks pretty decent this one i can see being used and it works a little bit better with this again this is a beta thing they're doing but one click to make it look like that i think looks pretty decent this is a graphic I made in, for NBC Sports a couple years ago, um, if Josh Allen won in LA. So this is what I did. So this is my manual editing with all of these layers you can see here. So I'm gonna turn that off and I'm gonna select this layer and I'm just gonna click on Harmonize and we'll see what this looks like. We'll see how good it looks with just one click. Either it looks good or it looks bad. We'll be able to tell pretty quickly from this takes a little bit to generate. So we'll see what pops up here and it'll give me three variations here in the properties panel. So we got one, two, and three. One and two, not bad. This is actually pretty decent. So this is what I did and this is what it is here. So again, I think mine looks a little bit better just because I did it all manually, took a, spent the time doing it, but some of these aren't bad. I think really for one click, it's decent. Um, it's a good starting point. Um, here's a different thing I made. Uh, I did this for a, a demo for some people. So this is what I did with Devin Hester here. And I did the same thing for the bear. So basically made it darker in the front. And I added shadows myself, but this should add shadows themselves. So let me hit harmonize with Devin Hester selected. And we'll see what this does. So hopefully it should make him dark. It should hopefully add like a shadow down here because he's backlit. And I added shadows myself manually. And again, a lot of these tools, it's probably going to be best to use and do things manually. You're going to have more precision over it. But if we click around on a couple of these, this one's not bad. Maybe I clip it to that. Well, I don't want to clip it because it's doing a really good job of the shadow. Maybe I set it to 50% or 75 or 70%. So what I did, what they did, what I did, what they did. So it's not doing a lot of the rim lighting around it, but it's pretty decent. Let's do it for the bear now. I will say, I do think that shadow looks really good. So even if you just use it to add a shadow that looks realistic in one click, that's great because shadows can kind of be a pain in the butt sometimes. So we'll see what this does. I think I have some like random circles down here that need to go away from where I had the bear. 
And I think part of the bear's face is cut out, but this looks a lot. This looks nice. I think I did this, but this looks pretty good. You know, the side, the side lighting here. Maybe we just darken the bear up a little bit, but I like how this looks. The lighting looks really good on this side. So maybe we just need to darken it up a little bit. And it kind of looks better than what I did, actually. So that's one click. That's pretty awesome. Let's do this last one here. So this is a Halloween graphic I made for the Packers. So it's dark in the front. We got some yellow lighting around the helmet and stuff like that. So I'm going to turn this off. And then we're just going to hit Harmonize one more time. And we'll see what this looks like. I've had some weird stuff on top because I think I had some logos up here, but we'll see what happens when this generates. If it generates. Okay, so let me move it over here so we can see what's going on. So this one, it did an okay job. I don't think it's seen as much back here, so I think this is does a better job of really getting all of these lights in the background. And maybe it's not seeing something in a background or it's not a solid background. It's only, I don't know what layers it sees. I just assume it sees the background. So let's try one thing real quick. I'm going to turn the background into a smart object. I'm just gonna convert the whole background to the smart object. So it's one layer. That way I know it's looking at that one layer, but I assume it's looking at the background for everything. So it's going to render that smart filter. It's going to take a hot second and we'll see what happens. And we'll just speed this up right now. Okay, so now we have our just background layer. It looks like this. So now I'm going to click on this. I'm actually going to turn this to its own smart object as well and then just hit harmonize again. We'll see if there are any differences in what it does, but theoretically there shouldn't be because it should just be seeing everything behind it. But we'll see how it looks. But so far, it seems like this is going to be good for starting points to blend things in, maybe lower opacity if you're going from light to dark. Some stuff looks pretty good. Some stuff, not so great. But again, it's one click, so it can only do so much. So like this isn't, I mean, this is making it dark in the front, which is good. And then maybe you just have to go back in and add some of the lighter areas on here. So it's not perfect. I think it did a good job with this bear did a decent job with Devin Hester. It did a really good job with these shadows. Here it did an okay job. And this actually doesn't look too bad. He looks blended in and it could be maybe I went too far with the blending. But coming back to this, I think it actually looks pretty decent. And then Kobe here, two of the backgrounds didn't look that great, but this one looks good if you just lower the opacity. So that's the new Harmonize tool in Adobe Photoshop Beta. I think it's a good start to get some photo comp compositing done. Um, or sports edits with a Z as the, the young kids like to do. So give it a try. It's downloaded. Just put it in the Photoshop beta. Um, it updated just minutes ago, which is why I was able to do this here. But I think it's a good tool as a starting point. Not perfect, but we'll see how they improve it in the future.